Hi and welcome to another video. Today I would like to quickly talk about the difference between using the keyword implements and the keyword extends. In many languages like Kotlin Java, we are having different ways of abstractions. We can have abstract classes and we can have interfaces. And an abstract class would be a class that can have properties and methods and these methods can have implementations. And interfaces are a kind of classes also but these classes only define some functions and properties, depending on the language, that then have to be implemented by the classes that extend or implement this interface. Now, in Dart per se, we don't have interfaces. We cannot write interface something like this. This will not work, because interfaces, explicit interfaces, don't exist in Dart. Instead, we have implicit interfaces. And this means basically that every class in Dart is implicitly defining an interface. So for example, if you see this person class over here, which has some property, which has a constructor, and which has some implemented method, then Dart language under the hood also creates an interface with this name that just doesn't have these implementations. Because of that, because every class is actually an interface or have an interface, we can implicitly implement this interface. So here is in this example this class imposter, which is implementing a class person, which is in this case an interface. In Dart we don't have interfaces, but we have abstract classes. And this is our way of saying that this is a class that cannot be instantiated. So in order to use whatever is implemented or defined in this class, we have to extend it or implement it. And this is where the difference comes. So this actually doesn't matter whether the class that we are extending or implementing is abstract or not. This abstract keyword only says us that one simple thing, if it's abstract, then we have to either implement it or extend. In this example over here, I have a class called animal and I defined it as abstract class. And then it has one method, which is move, and this method doesn't have a body. So it's only defining an interface of this method. It could have a return type, but my, in my case, it doesn't have one. And then we have this getter method, which is returning something. So this getter method is implemented already and it's returning the string animal. Then we can extend this class or we can implement this class into another abstract class. However, finally, when we have our abstract class or non-abstract class and we want to extend it, then you can see the error over here. It's saying that missing concrete implementation of animal.move. This means if we are using this keyword extends, whether on some intermediating class, or we just use here over this animal class, then Dart asks us to implement the move method, which doesn't have a body. So we can quickly fix it by implementing this method. However, if we use the keyword implements, then Dart will ask us to implement everything that the super type has. So in this case, we will have to implement both the move method that doesn't have body, but also the getter name, which is implemented. So here we go. We fixed that, throwing an exception at this point, but now we don't get any error and we can compile this program. Finally, we can also mention one more thing. So in Dart, like in some other languages, we can inherit from only one class. So in our example, we have this extended dog, which is extending an animal. We cannot also extend a dog over here. And here we get a message that each class definition can have at most one extends clause. So we cannot extend from two different classes. However, in case of using the implement keyword, um, which forces us to implement all of the classes and properties defined in the type that we are implementing, then we can implement more than one types. For example, we can implement both dog and animal, although this will make very little sense because both of them are coming with the same methods to implement. However, we could have some class X, then this class will have some property void Y, and then we can implement this X class as well. And then we of course have to implement this Y property, which we have done now down here. I hope this very short and simple video helped you a little bit to understand the difference between implements and extends. But for now, leave a like to this video, subscribe, and I call you to definitely see you the next time. Bye bye.